Hey, it's Kevin Meehan speaking to you from Plum Tree Farms in beautiful Kayon, St. Kitts. And I'm in the hydroponic shade house, continuing with the rehab update. And I just wanted to show you a little bit more about the system and how it get, get, get put together. And um, you can see behind me the tubes, or, sorry, the tubs. The tubs are laid out. And there's an eight foot five by five piece of uh, PVC, square PVC. We would be using these for fence posts in the United States, but they work fantastic as tubes that hold the hydroponic chambers. And so what we do is we, after we've cleaned these, they lay on top of the tube, of the tub over here, the reservoir tub. Actually, we do it like this. Yeah. Now we got it. Manifold is connected to the pump, and you can see how it connects to the tubes there, and then we'll bring the water into the tube system. Comes back, circulates, and down at this end, you can see we have these uh, plastic feet with a piece of PVC. They had to be sanitized too. I couldn't believe it when I got into this, like all of these nooks and crannies, like right here and down here, anywhere there was anywhere there was any space that a spider could set up shop, they did. And so they were also contaminated with spider mite infestation and had to get cleaned. Anyway, I'm going to continue uh, wiping down 12 of these tubes like this and lining them up, and I'll give you another look at that at the end after I'm done that. Hey, all right, so carrying on with the hydroponics rehab update, you can see behind me, I now have 12 tubes laid out on top of the two reservoir tubs. If you look along the back, you can see how the manifold is set up and is ready to deliver the water with nutrient solution to each one of these uh, chambers or each one of these tubes. Now, I'm going to turn one over so you can see. They're upside down right now because we're trying to keep the, the birds and other critters from leaving their calling cards inside since they're nice and clean now. We try to keep them as clean as possible. But when you turn it right side up, you can see we have 10 chambers and uh, a connection at the other end where the manifold will enter and uh, allow water into the tube. And then uh, you have 10 chambers. Each one gets a cup. The cup gets some of these beautiful pellets in it. And that's what the plants grow in. Actually, we might be, since we're using it for germination, we probably will be having cups with rock wool in them. And uh, the seeds will get their germination in rock wool. At any rate, it's ready to go. I'm leaving it sort of uh, set up but not hooked up because the, the hookup is the thing that we want to do on Saturday with expert guidance from the farm owner and uh, research team leader, Leighton Narain, and uh, maybe some input from Stuart Laplace, who remains our all-time hydroponics guru. But we want to get uh, myself and some of the Cubans that work here at the farm familiar with how to hook the system up and how to operate it so we'll be doing that on uh, on Saturday and I'll shoot some more video then in the background all the way against the back wall you can see the remaining trellises hanging from the ceiling and they're loaded with spider mite debris Ugh. so uh, after I shut down here with the with the videotaping then uh, I'm going to get out the ladder and climb up there and and pull down the rest of the trellises and that'll be it for today all right, see you again on the weekend. And today, by the way, is Wednesday, September 9th, 2020. Signing off from Plumtree Farms in Kayon St. Kitts.